So living with chronic vertigo or dizziness is completely debilitating, confusing. We can feel not quite right. It can feel like our life is upside down, which has that emotional impact of feeling isolated, anxious, depressed. And worst case scenarios, it can lead to you know, unemployment, relationship breakdowns, or even suicidal thoughts. So can we cure or get rid of vertigo at home is a really important question. And the answer is yes, absolutely. This is what I do for a living. This is what I see people do. And I myself have cured or healed, resolved my own vertigo. So the question is, how do you do it? Well, basically, it's a process of understanding your body. The reason a medical doctor, a health professional, a psychologist, etc., can't remove your vertigo for you is because it's probably not a simple linear quick fix. There's probably not some physical solution where they can say, take this vitamin, take this drug, do this exercise, and you'll be fine, right? And if that was the case, you wouldn't need this video because you would have healed already and, and you're back to life and you're normal again. So for people who want to get rid of or cure vertigo at home, that suggests to me that it's chronic, it's debilitating, and that's, it's upsetting, and it's non-linear, it's multi-layered. So what do I mean by that? I mean, it's probably not just some kind of physical upset in the ears, in the eyes, in the body or the brain. There's probably something more than an anatomical issue. And that means there'll be mental, emotional, and spiritual features involved. So mental obstacles or mental things that are involved in healing vertigo. And again, you can do all of this at home. This is what my clients do and this is how they heal. Is starting to understand how am I talking to myself? What is my inner dialogue? Do I trust my body to heal? Am I very worried about it? Are there fear cycles and anxiety cycles that are being re-triggered in my body, in my mind? And there's kind of common thoughts and a common element there, persistent worries and doubts that I can address, I can resolve, I can reverse. And you might think, oh, my thoughts have nothing to do with my vertigo. Well, actually they do because our thoughts impact our emotional system, our limbic brain and our vestibular information from the ears is traveling through that emotional system and being processed based upon how we relate to our symptoms, which comes back to that dialogue. If we take a no big deal approach and emotionally we're very neutral about our dizziness and vertigo, the emotional response is really low and the chemicals released in the emotional brain are a kind and calm and neutral, compassionate. However, if we hate our vertigo and we want to get rid of it and we, we tell ourselves it's life-threatening and we can't survive this, then the chemical release in the emotional brain is much more of the corticosteroids, the stress hormones, the, the neurotransmitters that really inhibit any of the, the recovery process we need to rebuild new, normal, steady, uh, balanced pathways. So basically the route to heal at home and how to cure vertigo at home is to reset the neural messages traveling from the ears, eyes, body, and brain. We need to repattern and remap so that all of those messages are steady, peaceful, calm, balanced, so you can think clearly again. So I've already touched upon the kind of mental and emotional aspects and how that's feeding into the physical chemistry of the body. And if we're chronically anxious or stressed, we can't use those neuroplasticity skills, so we remain locked in chronic symptoms. So again, how do I get rid of it at home? How do I cure vertigo at home? It's self-study, it's understanding yourself I've actually written an entire book on this. And if this is one of the dilemmas and problems you're living with, this Rocksteady book and the Rocksteady process, which is also an online program, will, will give you stru structure and tools to look at getting to know your, your mental landscape, getting to befriend and self-regulate your emotional landscape. And finally, and most importantly, looking at your spirituality and your belief system. Not religious. What I mean by spirituality is... Do you trust your body or do you actually feel like you need something or someone out there to fix you, which is seeking that external fix or cure, that device or that drug or that person to solve your problems? That is a barrier to healing. If you really want to heal vertigo at home, if you really want to cure vertigo at home, actually, you have to become the expert in your healing. And the Rocksteady book and the Rocksteady process will give you the skills and tools to become that expert because no two people heal in the same way. I used to have vestibular migraine. I had recurrent BPPV, positional vertigo. 
And I've resolved both. I don't get any anymore at all. And I did that by understanding my body and learning how to support my body, reassure myself and sort out any of the chronic loops that were actually aggravating the dizziness and preventing me from healing. So I really hope this helps. Visit seekingbalance.com.au and I'll put some links below under this video or under this blog for you to look further into the Rocksteady book and the Rocksteady program.